family goes to sleep every night saying, will we ever see justice for the murder of our son? It's been 17 days since we, since this shooting happened. It's been 17 days that evidence has been in the hands of the Sanford Police Department. At this point, the family has told us they can't trust anything. If you lie in the small things, you will lie in the big things. We have seen cover up lie after lie. We cannot be confident that the Sanford De Police Department will turn over the evidence the way that it should, the way that it was presented to them, to the FDLE. Also, let, let, let me say this. It's real important that we remember all the just unprecedented things that happened in this allegedly fair and impartial investigation. And a lot of them were uncovered by you all. And think about it. We're going to take the person who just shot a kid in cold blood word that he's squeaky clean. We're not even going to bother to do a background check on him. But yet, we're going to do a background check on the dead kid. We're going to take blood and alcohol analysis on the dead kid, but yet we don't do it on the shooter. How can they trust this investigation? How can they trust this police department? We want the Federal Department of Justice to take over this investigation. We want an arrest. Mr. Last Trump, question. how is that going to happen? Do you think that it's going to take the national folks, the civil rights activists like Al Sharpton, like Jesse Jackson, like Mark Morell, other it's national to public. folks to get there? Will that no, be I, I think I think very simply it takes good people like these witnesses coming forward because we do know that bad things and evil happen when good people don't step forward. So it doesn't matter who they are. Good people all over the world. People from London newspapers are calling about this case because they say, at least you have to arrest them. This is America. We are the standard for justice and the uh, court system. We are the standard. And for him not to be arrested is just an atrocity. It's all the world is watching. And we want to know what the Sanford Police Department, the state attorney's office, and the state of Florida is going to do. All the world is watching to see how this is going to conclude. We want an arrest. It had been more than 17 days. We want an arrest. We want an arrest. How many nights do they have to go to bed knowing that the killer of their son is walking around free? Thank you very much. Thank you.